Hello everyone! So, very exciting announcement. Monica and I are back for the Curry thon So, if you didn't know, Monica from Monica Kim, amazing person. We hosted the Curry thon in 2020, and it's basically a week long Curry thon to celebrate Korean stories. And we are finally back to do another round of it. So, I'm here to talk to you about all the challenges, the books I'm gonna read, all of that. So it's happening on the 7th to the 13th of March. So it's coming up and yeah, I'm literally so excited. Like we have lots of fun things planned and I'll obviously be vlogging. My ideal would be to do daily vlogs, but who knows? <laughs> but definitely a week long vlog. I just love a readathon. I feel like it's been so long. And obviously I love Korean stories and I love promoting other people to read Korean stories. So very excited. So we have a Twitter that you can follow. It's just Koreanathon. We also have a Discord that we made. So I'll leave a link to that below. All you have to do is click the link to join and you can talk to other people about your reading progress throughout the week. People are already chatting in there, talking about favorite like K-dramas, K-pop, obviously Korean books. It's very fun. Monica and I are also hoping to do other fun things throughout the week. So we're hoping to get guests to do fun live shows and stuff. So it's going to be a fun time. But let's talk about all the challenges. So we have some reading challenges and we have some life challenges. And we're not a fan of like, you know, the really strict readathons. So you can combine challenges and stuff. The main purpose of the readathon is just to have a fun time and read Korean stories. And we do also have a group book. So if you want to join us in reading this, hopefully lots of us will be reading this together. The group book is... Winter in Sokcho and I am very excited for this book. I actually saw it in the bookstore a few months ago and I was like wow you're beautiful and then I read what it's about. So basically this is written by a debut French Korean author and it's set in Sokcho which is a tourist town on the border of South Korea and North Korea and we follow a young French Korean woman who works as a receptionist in this guest house and one day an unexpected guest arrives a French cartoonist and they soon form a relationship and then she starts to accompany him on trips to try to discover an authentic Korea. So they visit snowy mountaintops, dramatic waterfalls and then they venture into North Korea. So it's supposed to be a novel about shared identities and divided selves, vision and blindness, intimacy and alienation. Doesn't that sound incredible? I literally can't wait. It's also really perfect for the readathon because it's really short. It's roughly 150 pages so really not that long at all. Definitely plan to read it in one sitting and I really hope lots of us love it. So yes, hopefully you will join us in reading this and I'm going to be using this for the first challenge which is to read a book translated from Korean. The next challenge is to read a manhwa graphic novel or webtoon. So for this I wanted to read a webtoon and I looked up the best Korean webtoons and I I found About Death, which seems really interesting. It basically explores the life between life and death, and it follows a godlike figure who talks to those who teeter on the border of life and death. So it's a very dark and melancholic webtoon, and there's also a soundtrack that goes along with the webtoon while you're reading to add to that atmosphere. So it's obviously supposed to be very philosophical, exploring themes of love, loss, suicide, friendship. I can't wait. Like, that is exactly the type of story that interests me. So literally can't wait for that. I also like it because I think there's only like 27 episodes that you need to read and some webtoons are like 10 million episodes long because I don't read webtoons that often. So it's a nice introductory point, I feel. The next challenge is to read a historical fiction Korean novel. So for that, I'm going to be reading The Island of Sea Women by Lisa C. And this story is actually told over many decades. So we see the Japanese colonialism of the 1930s and 40s, the Second World War, the Korean War, and the aftermath. So this follows two girls living on Jeju Island and they are best friends, but they come from very different backgrounds. And it basically explores the friendship between these two women until they reach a breaking point. I absolutely adore stories about friendship so I'm very excited for that aspect and obviously also the historical aspect so yeah can't wait to read this. The next challenge is to read an award-winning Korean novel and for that I'm going to be reading Shoko Smile by Chon Young and I picked this up when I was in Ireland recently and I am very excited. Since I picked it up I've heard really good things and I've seen some quotes from it and it just seems like it's gonna be beautiful. So basically this is actually a collection of seven short stories but from the reviews it seems like they're all really fleshed out like it doesn't seem like a short story it kind of feels like a full-on novel and basically this explores the nuanced relationships between women and it explores the joys and heartbreaks of human relationships so everything about that thank you I'm sure I'm gonna love it literally can't wait also it's perfect that this is like a short story collection because then during the readathon I could like read one short story then move to a different book then read another short story you know like I just feel like it's a good readathon book okay then we have a readable recommended by a Korean celebrity I have chosen my stunning ex-husband Namjoon from BTS he's talked about quite a few books and one of the books that he's talked about is Human Acts by Han Kang. This is obviously a very well-known Korean author and I'm very excited to finally get into her works. So 
this is set in Gwangju in South Korea in 1980. In the wake of a viciously suppressed student uprising, a boy searches for his friend's corpse. A consciousness searches for its abandoned body and a brutalized country searches for a voice. So this is supposedly a riveting and poetic examination of humanity. Sounds amazing. Also, it's not that long. So another perfect readathon book. Actually, the font's a little small, but <laughs> hopefully I can get to all these books. But yes, human acts. And the final challenge is to read a book about a Korean diaspora character. So basically someone who is Korean but is not living in Korea. So for this I've chosen to listen to the audiobook Your House Will Pay by Steph Cha. And basically this is a novel about the racial tensions in LA. And it follows two different families. So there's one Korean American family and one African American family. And they're both grappling with the effects of a decades old crime. So basically a police shooting of a black teenager in LA takes place. So protests and vigils start to arise. And this forces these two families to finally confront their past. I've seen so many good reviews on this book. Only heard about it recently but I literally can't wait to like my TBR 10 out of 10 if you ask me I'm literally so excited so yeah those are all the reading challenges and then we have a few life challenges which is very fun so the first challenge is to cook a Korean meal slash dish mom and I did a really fun cooking segment when I did create a thon in 2020 and hopefully we will do another one for this create a thon but Korean food is stunning it's my favorite so if you haven't tried Korean food perfect time to cook a stunning Korean meal and obviously there's heaps of like YouTube videos and TikToks that show you simple Korean meals to make. And if you really struggle with cooking, you could just cook some ramyeon. Some of my favorite simple Korean meals are kimbap, tteokbokki, kimchi jjigae, jjajangmyeon. There's so many good options out there, honestly. Wow. Then the next life challenge is to watch a Korean film or show. I think I will continue watching All of Us Are Dead, which is a new Korean show that was released on Netflix recently. And it's basically like a thriller and it follows like zombies in this high school. I watched the first episode and it was incredible and I don't think I'll finish it before March. So I think I'll continue watching it during the Creatathon. So very excited for that. If you want some quick K-drama recommendations, Romance is a bonus book. It's okay to not be okay. My first first love, Squid Game. And some Korean movies, we've got Train to Busan, an amazing zombie thriller. We've got The Tale of Two Sisters, an iconic Korean horror movie. We've got The Call, another amazing Korean horror movie. So yeah, definitely lots to choose from. And the last challenge is to support a Korean creator. So maybe you can discover a new Korean booktuber, a Korean bookstagrammer, just any Korean creator. You can also just show support through like liking the video and stuff like that. But yeah, those are all life challenges and I'm sure we're all gonna have a stunning week. Cannot wait and thank you so much for your excitement so far. I'll have all the information linked below, including Monica's channel in case you haven't subscribed. And yeah, so if you decide to join, I'd love to know your TBRs if you do like a journal spread like I'd love to see it on Instagram you can tag us slash use the hashtag hashtag createathon but yes yeah, so if you're looking for more content from me I have a Patreon which is always linked below and that is where I upload extra content like extra rating vlogs we do a monthly live show we do a monthly buddy read etc I have all my socials linked below including my Twitch which is twitch.tv slash game with Chloe and that is where I stream games and just chatting I'll definitely be doing some reading sprints on there during createathon thank you so much for watching this video I hope you're all having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next one Annyeong! Mm -hmm.